Hello everyone, this is Umar Taskir and you are watching WS Cube Tech Eureka. Guys, in this video, I am going to talk to you about the introduction to two link attributes to no follow attributes, right? This is actually a very new update, a very recent update that we are going to discuss today in this video that there is actually introduction of two new attributes which can be used with no follow attribute, right? We have already discussed in so many videos that how can we actually see no follow attribute uh, for, for a particular link, right? We, we have to click right click on that particular link and then we can go to the uh, inspect section and from there we can see that if it's mentioned over there no follow or do follow we can recognize that what kind of link it is right that is a very separate thing that is actually how can we identify which one is a do follow backlink or which one is a no follow backlink but now in this video we are going to talk about these two link attributes which are recently introduced and how can these uh, attributes or how can these link attributes benefit as you are the web pass, webmaster person that we're gonna discuss, right? So here I have written something from the information point of view is that uh, Google introduced the no follow attribute in 2005. Actually, the no follow attribute, which actually we see today, it was introduced in year 2005 by Google. Now, uh, what kind of benefits actually no follow backlinks gives us? Now there are two entities. The two entities are actually one is publisher whose website carries the link right and another one is the person which whose website actually links to this links to this uh, particular no follow backlink or whatever kind of backlink it is so there are two entities right one is publisher and this one is the person which actually is the owner of this particular link or, or we can say that who, who is actually whose website actually points to this link right so there, there are two things. So now we are going to talk about this publisher's point of view. See this publisher's point of view. You can see that ki if 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 the person is having no follow attribute over here on this link, which points to this website, you can say that there will be no comment spam, right? Because because the bots will not be able to go beyond this link because no follow attributes restricts the bots, right? Bots cannot go beyond this particular link, so they cannot do the comment spamming or something like that. Another the important thing which actually relates with the no follow backlink is that linking to low quality sites, right? See, if if you are a publisher and you are having this website and there is a link which is like uh, something uh, anchor text a which points to a.com, right? This is a link which is available on this website, but uh, there is a website which is a.com, right? So uh, this link actually transfers some value to this website, right? So, uh, just to restrict the transfer of the value from this link to this website, just because this is a low quality website or you can get penalized or this person can be get penalized for actually pointing to a low quality website. So, uh, if someone wants to point this website, then uh, he or she or the publisher can actually point this uh, link over here, put this link over here and then point to this website, making it no follow, right? So if this link is no follow then no value will be transferred from here or we can set it from this point to actually this point or there will be no penalty from the Google because uh, this person has given this link a no follow. So Google ignores that okay fine if, if this is no follow then the Google won't be able to travel from here to here to find out that this link actually points to a low quality site. So these, these were the two benefits from the publisher point of view that uh, no follow attribute actually carries. Now no follow attributes were actually used for backlinks uh, in when when the backlinks were of uh, sponsored backlinks or the paid backlinks right so no follow attribute was also mentioned there when the backlinks were of uh, affiliate links or something like that or paid so uh, no follow was also used over there but uh, uh, see if you if you are actually caught any anything like that you are giving a follow backlink and you are actually getting something from there right so that is that is that was actually not acceptable by the google you have to what what is the point is you have to put a no follow backlink if you are getting something in return right so you cannot you cannot do that uh, uh, while you are going with the follow backlink right so here it is written if you were caught accepting anything value in exchange for linking out without the no follow right if you were caught accepting anything in value anything in value without the no follow that means you cannot get anything in value with the follow attribute right so if you are getting something in the value you have to definitely go with the no follow backlink google could penalize you right so uh, this this is a very basic point google also required no follow for paid or sponsored links if you were caught accepting anything of value in exchange for linking out without the no follow attribute 
Google could penalize you. So these were actually the benefits, right? The benefits uh, which were associated with the no follow backlinks. Now let's uh, discuss uh, this aspect that uh, th these benefits are basically from this point of view, that publisher point of view, right? Publisher was getting benefited. He was not able to, or he or she was not able to. He was not getting the comment spam. If they they can they can link to the low quality websites and they will won't be penalized. So these were the benefits which were actually related or associated with this this uh, entity, right? The publisher one. Now we will talk about the second entity, which is this one, right? So if you see, there are major websites like Forbes and Wikipedia. These are a very big websites, and they have applied no follow across their website. Well, whatever links are there, they all are no follow backlinks. Now, now, now come to this point. This is Wikipedia. This is such a high authority website. This is such a popular, this is a highly reputed website. And there is another website which is X, and there is a link which is pointing to X. Then, if this link is no follow link, you won't be getting any value from here to here, right? This is confirmed because it is of no follow attribute, so you won't be able to get any value from here to here, right? But this person suffers because he is he or she is not getting any value on his website, in spite the fact he's he's getting a backlink from a very popular website. In fact, from a top website of the world, right? So this this was the issue, and uh, the Google was not able to actually calculate the value that this site is getting from other backlinks, other non-follow backlinks or we can say the other no follow backlinks this particular website is getting so many no follow backlinks but there is no value associated with this actually this website right so this was the problem which uh, which google thinks that we cannot value this website just because it is having so many no follow backlinks so we are giving some value attributes right so we are giving some value attribute that you can actually use with your no follow attribute and which will be a hint to us actually that will not be a confirmation but it will be a hint for us that it has some value or what kind of backlink is pointing to it right right now it is only a uh, no follow backlink so there is nothing associated with it there is nothing no meaning associated with it but if we justify that this is an sponsored link right perfectly sponsored link this is a ugc link then this will be something like that some meaning is associated with this backlink which is pointing to this website so that we can give some value to this website this is actually assumed by google or this 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 is something agenda of google what i believe is right so by treating no follow attribute as hints they allow themselves to better incorporate these signals into their algorithm this is actually from google's point of view if we can say that if we we, we assume that the the two link attribute that we have mentioned over here which are actually recently introduced by the google ugc and sponsored these are the two uh, link attributes which which if we point them or if we mention them in our backlinks uh, then they, they they will be acting as hints and uh, from from uh, algorithm point of view if we consider from the algorithm point of view these hints will definitely send some signals to the algorithm that there is something valuable or there's something information which is related with the link which is pointing to this particular website right so now if we talk about uh, what uh, what kind of uh, impact no follow links provide us on uh, crawling indexing or ranking so uh, till now there is nothing like uh, there there actually since google do not follow no follow backlink so there is no impact on crawling and indexing right so these are actually not used for the crawling and indexing and also not used for the rankings but but since i have mentioned over here that uh, this actually no follow backlink is uh, now associated with some different kind of link attribute so it may add some hints over here and this hint will be given to algorithm which may in future so google might think of introducing these hints as ranking algorithm in future this can be done right so this is the case which can be actually done now what 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 is here is actually we have some syntax of these uh, uh, new link attributes that that have been introduced recently right so regular link you can see that regular anchor text looks like this you have uh, you have your anchor link, uh, anchor text over here and uh, you have that uh, your link over here right this is actually a regular link then you have paid sponsored link you have to just mention relation sponsor like this over here and then a user generated link you have to mention relation ugc over here now the point is where is no follow attribute over here in these links it is not missing but if you want to use it like this relation is sponsored you can use it like this also this this is generally for the affiliate links right 
because these links are sponsored of the paid links you or affiliate links are generally the sponsored of the paid links you can use this kind of relation sponsored for the affiliate and paid links the other thing is user generated content links right so you have to mention relation ugc over here like this in your syntax for your uh, ugc link right so uh, the the no follow attribute can also be used but which i have mentioned over here is attributes can be used in combination like relation no follow and sponsored right so these attributes can be used in combination like relation no follow which is no follow attribute and there is in sponsored attribute right which which i have mentioned alone over here right so this is something which is related this actually video is something which is related to the recent update which came uh, with the two new link attributes actually right we believe that you would have enjoyed this video see in the next video till then a very good bye